Hello and welcome to my channel, Emma Jane's Garden. Um, it is raining and I don't want to complain because we've needed some rain, but it's been raining quite a lot now. Um, everything's looking really, really good though on the plot. Um, so it's been two and a half weeks since I last made the, the video that I've only just put out. I'm very sorry for that. Um, but yeah, so the plot is looking amazing. Um, but what I'm doing tonight is um, my daughter has gone to synchronise swimming lessons. Um, so while she's there, I've decided to plant my biannuals. So we are the first week in July. Um, so between sort of late June, mid July really is the best time to be putting your biannuals in. So what I'm planting today are my uh, box gloves. Hang on a minute, let me go and find them and I'll tell you. Okay, so I have got some Hes Hesperus, which is the sweet rocket. I have got, um, I've got the violet, I've got white and I've got purple. Um, so I've got some from Chilton's and some from Higgledy Garden. Um, and then I've got some really old seed, but I'm probably not going to bother with that. Yeah. Um, I've got Sweet Williams. Um, I absolutely love Sweet Williams. Um, and I did these way too late last year. I did these in end of August, September time, and they were rubbish. Um, so, I've got again some from Higgledy. Um, so this is the auricular eye ones, they're really pretty. I've got some Alba, um, and I can't say that one. Um, I've also got some, just the standard ones I've got from different other places. So I've got the Sweet William, Fox Glove, and I am a massive fan of Fox Gloves. Um, and this year I've mainly only managed to grow purple, like a pinky purple, and then the normal purple variety. So, I have ordered some, I've got Fox Glove, I've got the Apricot ones, I've got Excelsior and Alba, so that's the white, again from Higgle the Garden. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got I actually have some sage seed in there, but that's what I had last year, and that's that pale pinky colour. But I'll probably put some that in. I've got some honesty, um, and that is from obviously here with the garden again. And that honesty that is like a pinky colour. So I've got one in behind, which is a white. So I might put that one in behind it as well, because that's white as well. And then I've got wallflowers. I've never actually done wallflowers, but these seeds came with the mix that I had and I had a packet of seeds someone had given me a while ago so it's called Cloth of Gold. I might try it. I'm not sure. I've never been fan. I'm going to try it. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm sure you all know how to plant seeds. Um, there's lots of, you know, I've planted seeds with a lot, lot, lots of times before. Um, so um, I've got my trays. And I'm just going to um, I'm just going to sift some compost into the trays um, because what you don't want is this lumpy, these big lumps. That's what you don't want going into your seed trays. Um, just when you get them, not peak green, it's um, I find it quite woody. Um, so I would normally add a bit of vermiculite or perlite, and unfortunately, I've got a massive 25 kilo bag of it. But it's all at home in the other greenhouse and I haven't brought it with me. So I'm actually just not going to bother. I'm going to, I think with the time of year where things are going to grow pretty quick. So I'm going to have to put these out anyway. As much as I'd like to leave them in here and let them go until the winter. I know I'm going to need to put them out um, and put them into pots. So um, I'm not going to worry that I haven't got them mixed like. See, that's all the... Like, I like bits of like hard, which is what you don't want. So what I do with that is, um, I just put it on my compost heap. Um, and it'll just rot down and make compost. So, so I'm going to carry on doing that and um, then I'll show you when I start sewing. Okay, so I possibly going to need to get a bit closer. So I have chosen to do, in the first four trays, I've got some fox gloves, I've got the white and the eight part, 
and then I've got my sweet williams. So next year I want to have some really big beds of sweet williams. Um, not this year, the year before I had one bed of sweet william and I was just picking and picking and picking and it was absolutely fantastic. So I want to double that up, maybe even four times what I had that year um, because I really miss them this year. And I've got some really lovely ones here and these are all from the Higgledy Garden mix. So I want to put them all in. I might just say that all this seed is actually from last year because I bought it last year um, and I planted some of it but not all of it. So this is a bit of an experiment, I'm hoping it will um, be okay. I can't see why not, I'm sure it'll be done. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what the seed looks like. So this is the white alba. So the sweet William seeds. They're quite big. There we go. So they're quite big. And the best thing to do with those, you could probably do with seeing what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle them over the surface like this. Possibly not all in one place. Okay, so we're going to do the same with the foxgloves. I'm just going to cover these over a little bit. I'm just going to finish off putting these ones in. So these were the, which ones are white? So quite excited for those. go back in the packet so you end up with quite a lot left over so that's why I'm using this seed from last year I would normally buy a new seed um, but as I'm running a bit late I thought I'd see if the seed works if it doesn't I'll just order some more and I'll just redo it um, but this should come up in the next couple of days um, a week really right let me show you what the foxglove seed looks like this definitely needs to be put into this little tray. So for some of the other seeds that I've got here, I'll probably put them into cell trays like this dude. This is a really good cell tray. I'll probably put them into something like that. But the seeds are so small, it's just easier to do it this way. So oh, this obviously sowed quite a lot of these last year. Not many left. I'm not sure why they didn't come, but I think I had them in my other polytunnel. Like I said, I did them really late in the year. Oh. This is, oh no, dust, basically. So foxgloves just look like dust. So I am going to sprinkle this all over the surface. You do not ever need to sow an entire packet of seeds because especially with foxgloves, because you have tens of thousands of <laughs> plants. You just need to finally put them over. Let's put this back in. Okay, and the next thing to do is to make sure you label everything. So, I'll use my pen. So I'm going to label. Um, so that was gloves, the date that we've done it, which is the 4th of the 7th of 23. Now I'm not, so if you hear that helicopter, it's annoying. I'll let it go. So I am not going to water these from the top, because what will happen is the seeds will just go, well they'll just go everywhere. Um, so I have got a tray, which you're actually in at the moment, so I'll show you them. Um, deep trays, and what I'll do is I'll put, I'll fill that with water and then I'll put the trays in that. Um, and that'll just soak the water up and I'll just make sure that that keeps damp. Um, and that'll keep all the seeds going. I will be putting the little lids on these. So I'll be putting the lids on just to keep a little bit of humidity in um just until they germinate um they will be in the polytunnel but um where they are in the poly polytunnel i've got a i'll show you hold on so this is where you was this is where you were just a second ago okay so very high tech in here um so this is a window and it's um generally this door is open 
most of the time it's just it's been really windy so i've had it shut um but i will fill this with water um that door will either be open or be um or this is just a mesh covering here so they'll have some air and then once they've germinated i will put them outside i've got some racking out the polytunnel and I'll put them out there um, once they've germinated um, yeah so that's it so um, that's what I'm going to be I'm going to carry on and finish doing all these um, hope you found this interesting um, and if you would like to hear more from me don't forget to press the uh, bell icon and like and subscribe and that really does help me um, with the algorithm and all that and make sure that you know that this video is coming out I am going to try making these as often as possible now and just really get out there and show you what I'm doing. Um, well, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.